Let's graph the linear equation y equals 5x minus 1, and we'll do it two ways. First, we'll use a table of values, and then we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. Let's start by putting some values in for x. How about 0? 5 times 0, that's 0. So we get a negative 1 here for y. We could choose really any numbers for x, but we want things that are going to show up, give us values or points that show up on our graph here. So if I chose 1, 5 times 1 is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. So we have that point. How about we choose negative 1? 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5. And then we have a negative 1 that gives us a negative 6. So these are the points we'll graph for the linear equation y equals 5x minus 1. Our first point, x is 0, y is negative 1. So that's right there. Then we have x is 1 and y is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 right here. And we could stop there, draw our line, but it's nice to have that third point. Make sure that we did the first part correctly. x is negative 1, y is negative 6. So there we have our line. Let's put a line through that. We could put arrows to show that this goes to infinity. And there's our graph for y equals 5x minus 1. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept. That's negative 1. So that's where the line is going to go through the y-axis, at y equals negative 1, right there. That makes sense. Then for m, the slope, it's 5, but we could call it 5 over 1. It's still equal to 5, but now we can say rise over run. So we'll go to our y-intercept here. We'll rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, go over 1. There's our point. Let's do it one more time from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go over 1. So that shows us that we did this first part correctly. This is the graph for y equals 5x minus 1. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.